the point I was making is persistency is the most valuable tool when it comes to any market. All right, I mentioned a couple things last week, or one in particular I want to follow up on. And I talked about pickup sticks. And what I was referring to is linear regression. And you're probably thinking about, Dave, you don't really get into all that crazy stuff. It's like, I know, but I've played with everything over the years. And the point I was making with the pickup sticks, and this is a, a, a child game. In fact, one time I mentioned them in a webinar and I was telling my wife about them and, and to reminisce our childhood, we both were thinking about pickup sticks, or whatever, talking about it that we both played as kids. So I actually bought some. This is actually a picture of the, of the ad that I bought them from. Anyway, uh, they, it's just a little game. You just throw them on the ground and you you got to pick them up without moving the other ones around and all. The point I was making is persistency is the most valuable tool when it comes to any market, crypto, stocks, anything. Persistency is a market's ability to go up day after day after day after day after day. Now, I like to draw a bar, a line, I should say, through as many bars as possible, seeing how many I can intersect. Now, mathematically, like I said last week, that's the equivalent of linear regression. And I would recommend you play around with linear regression a little bit, plot it on your charts like this, and just kind of looking at this on the fly here, it's like, well, what do we have? We've got a pretty nice persistent uptrend in the S&P 500. And so far, this is just a bit of a knockout bar. Now, by accident, I plotted these pickup sticks on a... 30 minute chart and it looks a little bit like that so uh, it's kind of interesting that they're all headed straight down going back in time and and again play with this and i don't know if it works with new tc as well as it did with the old one the old one what would happen is you could actually go back in time and these things would 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 intertwine and go back and forth and it was kind of a neat little exercise now again don't rush out and throw a bunch of lines in your chart or whatever but this indicator, or as I like to call them, illustrator, because nothing indicates anything. If, if you had an indicator that actually indicated, you would own the world, okay? And believe me, I've tried. <laughs> if I ever find one, you never find my, you ever see my fat ass again. But the, all kidding aside, the using them as illustrators can be really cool, like the Landry light, which we can take a look at in a few minutes, can be really helpful. And it helps to alert you to what's going on in the charts. Yeah, this chart's going down, obviously, with the indicators or illustrators, as I just called them in it, you could see that it was going down, right? Uh, this one's going up, and you might be looking at the trees for the forest and not see the fact that this is still in a really solid uptrend. So that's what that looks like, and that's just various linear regressions you can kind of count the bars and figure it out like this cyan let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so that's ten so I've probably got like five ten fifteen twenty and then when I get to the bigger numbers I jump up 